I know I have enough eyeshadow palettes. I don't care if I have enough eyeshadow palettes. If I see one with a color story that I'm gonna love, I'm gonna pick it up. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. I'm filming one of my favorite kind of videos to film. You already know if you've been watching my channel for a while, we have a haul. The stuff that I have for this haul is a little bit of a hodgepodge. So there's some stuff from Cosmetics Company Store. I hit up the Boxy Charm pop-up shop and got a bunch, not a bunch, but quite a few things from them at a super steep discount. I also got a few things from Zara. And then lastly, we're probably gonna do a little bit of nail goodies. So before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. Lots of hauls, lots of makeup little bit of fitness sprinkled in. We love all things related to health and beauty. So if you wanna see what I've picked up in my latest haul, then stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the cosmetics company store. Y'all know how addicted I am to this store. I can't help it. The discount that you get on the products in there is just ridiculous. So if you see something and they now have a website, which makes it even harder to resist. If you see something, pick it up because they don't keep the same products in stock all the time. They have a lot of Clinique, Too Faced, MAC. Um, they do carry Tom Ford, La Mer, but some of the higher end stuff is kind of hit or miss because one day they may have a bunch of really good stuff and then the next day you go in and it's like, this is it. So I always try to stop in when I'm close because it's not in my area and just see if there's anything I want to add to my collection. So the first thing I picked up, this is a gift set from Mac. This is what the box looks like. I don't check for Mac, so I don't know when this came out. This is Trick of the Light Mineralized Skin Finish Kit. It comes with a mineralized skin finish and it's called Bling Me to Life. And then it comes with a brush. I saw this skin finish in the store and I was like, oh, I need to have that. I love these little bags. I have a lip set that I got from them. So one side you open and then there's one pouch and then the other side you open and it's a different pouch. So cool packaging. I will definitely be keeping this, but this is what comes in the set. So you get a highlighter brush and I don't normally use these super thick brushes for highlighter, but I mean, if it came with it, I'm assuming you're supposed to. Barbara just likes to do things her own way. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Something like this, I would tend to use more for like contouring, but yeah, they use it as, this is a highlighter brush, so okay, if you say so. And then this is the highlighter here, so it is your mineralized skin finish normal kind of setup but look how gorgeous that is it's almost like a rose gold but not too much rose and i just thought this was so pretty when i swatched it in the store super super blingy but these can always be sheared out i swatched it and i was like yep i need to have it i don't think that i have a mineralized skin finish highlighter in my collection i have mac highlighters but not this formula. So that was one of the main reasons I picked it up. And again, I'm a makeup hoarder, so do I really need an excuse? Next, I picked up, nope, that is not from there. Okay, so I stopped in a Banana Republic. I don't do a lot of jewelry shopping. As you can see, I have nothing on right now, but sometimes when I go out, I do wear jewelry. I just have a few pieces, and of course I can't open this. Um, but I stopped in Banana Republic and I picked up a few shirts and Apparently, I put this ring in the box. So it's a cute little stacked ring. And I just thought it would be really pretty for like a pointer finger ring. I love stacked rings like that. So super cute. It was just, it was on sale. They had 50% off for Memorial Day and it's adjustable. So I thought that would be really pretty and just simple jewelry. That is what I like. Up next, this was a blind, not a blind buy because I did smell it in the store, but this is something that I definitely was not looking for. But again, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, 
and if you see it and you know the discount you're getting I think it was 50% off plus an extra 15 I'm gonna need you to put it in the bag Tom Ford this is bitter peach I remember when this first came out I was like mm -mm, we don't do peach that's not gonna be for me but then I smelled it in the store and it smells really really good oh this smells really good it does not smell that peachy to me so I think that's the thing like I thought it was gonna smell super peachy and that's why I wasn't gonna like it but I love how this smells so again it was a blind buy not a blind buy but like unexpected buy and I wasn't even sure that I was gonna like the scent but I sprayed it, walked around in the store, and absolutely loved it. But of course, I could not stop there because they had another Tom Ford fragrance. This is Oud Fleur. Now listen, I sprayed this in the store and I was like, oh, I think that smells good. And then I let it dry down a little bit, like 10, 20 minutes, and I was like, mm, I don't know how if I like this. But the salesperson was explaining to me that scents like this and a lot of his scents are supposed to be layered so this is really good if you layer it with something sweet and i told her i had soleil neige and she said that was a really good one to layer with this one this just smells very like smoky kind of tobacco it smells more masculine and i think that's why i wasn't sure about it but i guess if you layer it with something sweet that kind of helps to bring it together and be more feminine it's just very different. It is very different from anything else that I have. I definitely would not have paid full price for this. I wouldn't have bought it at 30% off or 40% off. Honestly, the extra 15% off, I was like, yeah, okay, I guess. It is low enough of a discount that I am willing to try it to layer it. So jury is out on this one because like I said, I don't normally do that boozy tobacco, but I have wanted to try. So why not try with Tom Ford and why not try when it is super discounted? I didn't do too much damage in the store because I went late in the day and maybe they had already sold out a bunch of stuff, but there just wasn't much that I wanted to get. They did have a, like a, ba a bag that you could pick and it was a $15 bag, but you could pick six trial size or some full size items. And it was $15, but then I think after you spent a certain amount, it was free. So I didn't pay anything for it. So I picked up a Clinique Quick Liner for Eyes Intense. This is a Intense Ebony Shade. This is just a black eyeliner. And I love, yes, it is retractable. This is the shade there. It is very, very black and very smooth. And it was just, I put picked up a few things and then I shared some with a friend who was in town. So I gave her most of the things because Lord knows I don't need any more. The other thing I picked up is the Advanced Night Repair Supercharged Eye Complex by Estee Lauder. Cute little thing to put in my travel bag. I think I have this actually. Yeah, this is upstairs in my bathroom already and I've been using this. It kind of has that smoothing silicone feel to it, but it does have retinol in it. So I do use this at night, like it says. This was a free gift. This is the Origins Ginseng Refresh Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff. I think this is like the third or fourth one that I have. I need to open one and start using it. I love this. It does kind of have a peachy shade to it. It is not a color corrector. It is not thick enough to, or pigmented enough to do that. But I do like how this feels under my eyes and it goes really well with makeup. You can kind of see the shade there. It is not white and it does look a little pearly when you put it on. As you can see, it kind of has a sheen there. So I think it looks really good under the eyes just to help them look hydrated and plump. And I love that it says it is depuffing and brightening. So since I opened this, I'm going to bring it upstairs in my bathroom. This was also a free gift. This is the Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Light Global Anti-Aging Cell Power Cream. I don't know. We know skincare is expensive, so I love when I spend enough money to get this stuff as a free gift. I'm guessing this is, ooh, very nice packaging, very luxe looking. And I guess you can use this at any time. What does she say? 
Multi-action moisturizer helps the skin look and feel firmer, more supple, radiant, and deeply nourished. Uh, it doesn't say when to use it though. I guess you can use it as, at any time, who knows? It says oil controlling and pore minimizing. This is for normal to combination skin. My skin is normal, so this would be something I would definitely use during the day and especially during the summer months. Next, we can move on to the items I got from Zara. I only got two. I love this cute little bag that it comes in. I Well, three items, but two products. I wanted to try their foundation. I've been seeing everybody talk about it. You know how I love trying foundations. And so I picked up the Limitless Soft Matte Foundation. I picked mine up in the shade N946. This is the box and you can see a little bit the embossing. It says Zara right there. This was super inexpensive too. I think it was like, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna put the price on the screen cause I don't remember. Love this packaging. Very, very luxe. It feels heavy. It's just different because the bottom of it is slanted too. So let me find something I can sit this on. So when you sit it down, it literally leans like that don't have anything like that i don't think i've even swatched this so i don't know what the shade looks like okay that is the shade there i did want a neutral and this does look like a neutral oh did i pick a decent shade online did i i feel like so right now what I have on is a little red. I feel like this is very, very neutral. I don't know how I feel about that. I'll have to see how it looks on my face. I'm gonna let that sit and dry down, but I'm kinda not sure that neutral was the right pick. Let's let it dry down and see. I don't know, I feel like it looks good compared to my arm though, so we'll see. I did pick up two of the concealers. I picked up two. Oh no, I didn't. I only picked up one. I thought I picked up two. Okay, well then I do have three products. I picked up one of the concealers in shade C N35. This is their Luminous Creamy Concealer. Same packaging as the foundation. Put her right here. What that looks like. I think that's a gorgeous shade. Doesn't look too gold. Feels pretty thick. So yeah. It's also not too bright. I feel like when this dries down, this is almost a shade that I would be able to wear and blend out and lightly set and not have to wear a lot of makeup with it. So definitely that turned out okay. The other thing I picked up is this Manifesto Refillable Color Stick in the shade Real. I think this is one of, I think. I think this is one of those kind of blush, cheek color, lip color kind of things. Yeah, it's in the shade real. Ooh, that is pretty. Okay, so this almost kind of looks like a bronzer shade, but I'm gonna put it on this side. That looks very much so like a bronzer contour shade. Interesting. I feel like this kind of gives me MAC format, not format, is it format or blunt? One of those two where it's kind of like, it almost looks like it could be a bronzer, but it does have a little bit of red to it. This is gonna be gorgeous. I cannot wait to try this. I don't know how it dries down or anything like that, but that shade I could easily see me using as a bronzer, or if I just wanted to throw on a quick blush and put it on my lips, I could wear it. So definitely happy with that pick. Now we're gonna move on to the items that I got from BoxyCharm. I love when they have their little pop-up shop because the stuff is like 50, 60, 70, 80% off sometimes. One of the things that I picked up are, let's see, these Ace Beauté Press-On Nails. It says they're reusable. I don't know how people reuse these things. Like by the time I take them off, they are done. So I've been wanting to try this brand's nails because these are really pretty. It's like an ombre French manicure. And I like the shape of these. Is this glue? They have nail adhesive tabs. It says, yeah, you can use glue or the nail tabs that are in here. So nails will last me, it depends, two days. Sometimes it'll last me almost two weeks. It just depends on what I have going on. 
So I always try to pick them up when I can get them on sale, on sale and I haven't tried this brand. Next, I picked up the Pure No Filter Primer in Bronze. I have been loving using glowy primers lately and then I'll use like a pore filling primer on top. This says Blurring Photography Primer in Bronze Glow. I like how that sounds. This is what the packaging looks like. And I have never tried this. I haven't seen this. I haven't heard anybody talk about it. And of course it's going to be hard to open because it would not be one of my haul videos without having problems. So I'm gonna just put it right here. So this is, I mean, I wonder. I'm sure this is kinda, okay, it's not thick. Ooh, that's pretty. That is very pretty and it feels very thin. I'm wondering how it blurs though. I don't know, I guess I think blurring is gonna be like that thicker consistency that's gonna fill stuff in, but maybe just the luminosity sits on top of the skin and makes everything look smooth. I don't know, but that is really pretty. It is a thin formula. Ooh, that is pretty. I wonder if you can wear that on top of your makeup. I know it says it's a primer, but Products like this sometimes can be multi-use. This is gonna be, need to be tried out soon because so far I'm excited and I think it looks good. It's not too shiny or glittery, so definitely a plus. Next, I picked up the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Body 12% AHA BHA Resurfacing Serum. I have picked this up from the BoxyCharm pop-up store before and I have this upstairs in my bathroom. I love using this on my stomach, my thighs, and my butts because I just want to make sure everything is smooth and feeling good. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't like how this smells. I don't know what it is. It says it's honeymoon. I don't know if it's supposed to smell like honey. I don't love how it smells. It smells very like naturey kind of grass, but it doesn't linger. So the initial smell kind of wears down once you put it on the skin and rub it in. And then I always put something else on top of it. So don't love the smell, but love what it does. I picked up two concealers from Item Beauty. These were both on the website, but I had trouble picking out the color. So that's why I got two. I think they were like eight bucks, nine bucks. So I was just like, whatever. Um, this is the Item Air Hug Concealer. And I picked up the shade 330. Why did I pick up two of the same shade? Oh, Barbara. Well, that's why they looked alike. I could have sworn I picked up two different shades because I wasn't sure which one I was going to like. I think I had trouble with the website that day. I am praying this looks okay. This, I can put it on this side. Okay. Whew. This can work. And honestly, this is another one of those shades that I feel like I could wear without having to wear a lot of makeup. So thank you, baby Jesus, that this shade works because I would have been stuck with two. Next, I picked up the Blink Ultra Volume Tubing Mascara. I saw this and it was a no-brainer. You know I have been looking for a dupe for my all-time favorite tubing mascara. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. And this is in their liquid lash extension. They have different colors now, but I always get the black. And everyone's been asking me if I know of a good dupe. I have not found one yet but this will be used in a video soon because I need to know. The people have questions and we need to know. Is this a dupe? And I need to make sure like where else you can buy it because I know BoxyCharm is not always having a sale and I don't think they have products normally that you can just go buy. So I need to make sure this is still for sale, but if this is a dupe, this will be super, super easy to get. Next, I picked up a cream blush in the shade Natural Rose, and this is from what brand? Oh, hmm. Dominique Cosmetics. I was like, who do, why did I buy this? I have not tried any of her face products. All I have is two of her eyeshadow palettes. This is very pretty. I would have been able to tell you what it was when I opened it. Love the packaging. Oh, this shade is gorgeous. Y'all know, me and a blush, very, okay, this is a very creamy emollient blush. It is not like, oh, I don't know if the video's up yet. I tried a face full of Sephora products. They have a cream blush palette, and some of the blushes are like this, this very creamy kind of luminous sheen, and then some of them are kind of more like a dry matte. 
but it's still a cream. So we'll put you right there. Oh, that's a pretty shade. Super light. I'm sure it's buildable. Yeah, because there's still pigment on my finger. And then you see it there on my hand. So definitely like this shade. I've been loving cream blushes. Sometimes I use them by themselves. Other times I'll set them with another blush. But I like wearing those when I'm wearing very minimal makeup and just want to have a flush of color on my cheeks. Up next, this I bought to put in a giveaway. This is the Natasha Denona Ayana palette. This is one of the five pan palettes. I'm not going to swatch it and I'm not going to open it. Oh, thank gosh she's not broken. This was in one of their boxes. I picked this up for myself during one of their other pop-up store sales and I love this palette. I do wish there was another transition shade in here. This does not do very well as like a brow, not a brow, well it could work as a brow highlighter, but as a lid shade because it comes off a little darker than what it looks like in the pan. But this color is so dark. I love this shade right here. I love this shade. This is a great cool tone neutral and I just thought the formula is amazing. Typical Natasha Denona. I just put my bronzer in my crease first and then I use this and I love it. This is upstairs in my bathroom and I love the color story. So this is going to go in a giveaway for one of you guys very, very soon. And since we're talking about products that I bought for a giveaway, I also have another eyeshadow palette. I did buy this one for myself a while back and I loved it. I have a video on my channel. I will link it. But this is the Violet Voss Olive You Forever. I can never say this right. Palette. I saw this in the BoxyCharm box one month and I was like, oh my God, that is so pretty. And then they had it in the pop-up store. Or did I get BoxyCharm? I think I got BoxyCharm that month because I got to pick this. I love this palette and I just saw that it was in the store. So I was like, you know what? Let me get one for one of my lucky subscribers, my family. So this is what it looks like. Gorgeous greens, beautiful neutrals. You can do a neutral brown look. You can add some pops of color. Not going to swatch it. Just want to show you what it looks like. But that is going to go in a giveaway as well. I also decided to pick up the Beauty Bakery Better Not Bitter Flower Setting Powder. Honestly, guys, I think I have this. Is this a different shade maybe? This is an Oat Translucent. Let me check to see if I have this. You see, this is why I need to look what I have before I start shopping. So yeah, I have this already, so I'm not gonna open it. We're gonna stick this one in the giveaway too. I have a problem and somebody else is gonna benefit from it today. So yeah, we'll keep that one. Next thing I picked up, this one is for me. This is the Ace Beauté Floral Vintage Eyeshadow Palette. I love Ace Beauté eyeshadow palettes. I know I have enough eyeshadow palettes. I don't care if I have enough eyeshadow palettes. If I see one with a core color story that I'm going to love, I'm going to pick it up. This one, y'all know why as soon as I show it to you. And it's not even that many of them, but still. Look at these shades. The greens got me. This purple, I don't know that I have one this big. I don't. I'm looking. I don't. So I'm not going to make excuses. This shade is absolutely gorgeous. Love shades like this. I love that it's not too super gold because that's not really my vibe anymore. But shades like this and this, there was just a lot of shades in here that I thought would be super pretty. So yeah, get it on sale. Absolutely. Last but not least, we are going to move into my nail products. My nails are very long or getting long. Like this is the longest they've ever been. My nails are under these press-ons and they are literally almost the length of these, which I don't think my nails have ever been that long, but they are very soft and they break really easy. So I always wear press-ons or I started doing dip powder. I also have like a gel set with the UV light. And I've been liking to use the semi-cured strips that are kind of thick and you just put those under the light. Love trying different things and I love the different designs. So I placed an order with Vanity Table. I've told you guys about them before. You ask about my nails all the time. So I'm going to share these with you real quick. These are the semi-cured strips. So 
They are basically nail strips that have designs on them. You put them on, you put them under a UV light, and you go about your business. I love quick, fast, and easy. This is the O'Hara line, and this is in the shade Daydreamer. So I love that there's a purple, there's a cream shade, and it has these little iridescent, it almost look like, looks like, like a stone marble. This is what the strips look like. They are a little thicker, but you literally just put them on your nails and then you cure it and you are done. So love, love, love how this almost looks like that mosaic. I hope there you go, you can see it a little better there. That kind of mosaic pattern super pretty and i just love the shades i love stuff that doesn't look like it can be easily painted because it looks more sophisticated i guess so that's why i picked that set then i also have juicy tweed so this has orange and yellow and a pink and then there's a glitter and then the tweed one is right here that my lights are messing this up but it is a tweed kind of pattern and it is a little shiny. So the colors in it match the accent colors here. Then I also picked up Marmalade, which is another orange and it is an ombre. Orange, fire, my team name is Relentless and it is surrounded by fire. So I've kind of been drawn to orange lately. Then I also picked up Leaves which has red and orange as well. And then this has like red and orange, kind of like that mosaic tile pattern of the other one. So these are solids and then you have your accent nail there. Oh, one more. This one is in Beachside and this one for whatever reason, different box. So I'll open this one to show you. I did look at this one and I think it is so pretty. So that is what this one looks like here. So you have these little kind of sparkle glitter pieces and then this is super gorgeous. That is probably going to be my next manicure if I don't do one of the orange ones. And then this is where I get a lot of my press on from that you guys ask about. This is called their finger suit press on nails. This one is in the shade, I know it's on here somewhere, blue sparkle. And I just thought this is so pretty because it has blue and green sparkles. It looks like glitter, but it's smooth. So yes, yeah, super, super pretty. This next set is called Neon Orange. Speaks for itself, super pretty. I don't think the camera is doing this justice for how bright these are. Then this next set is called Canvas. So it has your white but then it also has like blue and gold and it kind of looks like a watercolor marble design. And they have different shapes. So you saw I had a coffin, these are square. This next one is called Flash. Love this shade of blue and then it has just the silver kind of dark gray sparkle. And then the last one is another orange and she is called Orange Lollipop. And this is just orange with a little glitter. So I may wear this one by itself or I may pair it with something else. I don't know what else, but maybe. And that is it. That is everything for my haul video. Comment below, tell me what you guys think about it. Tell me what products you wanna see. Do you have any of these? Have you tried them before? I would love to hear from you. I'm looking at this foundation shade and I don't love it. I feel like it's too... I don't know, like that doesn't look neutral to me or maybe I don't know what neutral means. Maybe I like cool tones. It just feels very almost kind of olive and I don't like that shade for me. So I need to check out what their return policy is because I do think I want to exchange it. Of course I can always mix it, but for the first time I try a foundation or a concealer, I don't wanna have to do that. I wanna see how it works by itself. So I am gonna to try to exchange that because I don't like it. But everything else, those two concealer shades look almost like my skin tone. Definitely what I would wear under my eyes on a neutral day, so I'm happy about those. Thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of the video. I will keep you updated on that foundation. And yeah, that is it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I hope you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.
Bye.